Hi, I'm Murph. I'm Todd. We are the Wombats, and this is Buzzine. I haven't got time for any selfless deeds. What I do for you is indirectly for me. I'm a stubborn boy. I guess it's a kind of uh, uh, ten songs and kind of a whole kind of two years worth of work that we're very proud of. And kind of if it had no success at all, I'd like to think we would still be proud of it as to we are, to it being, you know, pretty successful. So no meaning has been changed or nothing's really been lost in the way. Just want as many people to hear as possible. It was the perfect disease we had. Something to argue and scream about. I feel like it, it probably, we did go a bit over the top in, in, in the production. And like, especially compared to what we did on the first record, because to me that was a lot more like, you know, we just went in the studio and recorded it sort of live almost. And this time we were like spending, you know, like hours and hours, even days on like just to get, a, you know, the right guitar sound or get, get the right synth sounds or whatever. There was um, one guitar that wouldn't stay in tune and mm -hmm. we spent an entire day doing nothing but tuning it. Yeah. <laughs> We just like, yeah, you know, played around a lot more in the studio. Yeah, we just threw a lot at it, really, and just took the best, the best bits in terms of production, I think. The weirdest thing for me was that it kind of sounds cohesive, having four different producers of, like, well, there's a big difference between, I guess, Eric Valentine's way of working and Jack Knife Lee's way of working. Maybe it was the fact that we're quite hands-on with the production as well, or the fact that we're just really lucky that it actually all kind of sounded, you know, similar, and you couldn't spot the difference. Shut up and move with me now.